Oh, I was the queen of that, yeah. We used to wear literally like tin foil outfits and luminous things. Things that I look back on now and I think, wow, how the hell did you wear that? When I got into S Club 7, it changed my life literally overnight because when we came back from filming our TV show, Miami 7, the first episode had already aired. So when I went out, instantly everybody seemed to know who I was, which was a bit of a shock to the system, but it was a fantastic time in my life. I wouldn't change any of it. And um, I feel very lucky that I was an S Clubber, definitely. I would probably say to myself to enjoy it more because I think where we were so busy all the time, uh, we never really stopped to get a chance to appreciate the successes that we had. And I think that I appreciate it all much more now and if I could have done that back then I think it would have just been even more fun than it already was. I think my favourite S Club memory is definitely uh, the touring. We just loved being on tour, um, just getting out there on stage and being there for the fans and putting on, we used to put on such fantastic shows so that was definitely a memory that um, I will keep forever. Favourite song, oh, it's got me reach has not it? I think uh, it's such an anthem now and I think everybody seems to know it, even the young kids of today seem to know Reach and whenever we get on stage and perform that, that's when the crowd go crazy. Oh, I was the queen of that, yeah. We used to wear literally like tin foil outfits and luminous things, things that I look back on now and I think, wow, how the hell did you wear that? But, oh, I did, yeah, I did wear it and um, I wouldn't change it though because it's, uh, it's all good for the memory books. I do keep in touch with some of the band, yeah. Um, all different times, all different people for all different reasons, usually through DMs and text messages, just like, how are you? And how's the kids? And just general chit chat. So yeah, there's definitely, um, there's definitely communication. I probably speak the most to Rachel and to Hannah. There's no reunions on the cards, no. Um, I get asked this all the time. I wouldn't never say never to one, but I think for now, I just want to concentrate on what I'm doing and this album with love. Um, I've put my whole heart and soul into it, so I'm really excited for everyone to hear it. I think the inspiration behind it is purely just my love of music, really. Um, I've grown up loving music since I've been a little girl and I was offered an opportunity to get myself back in the studio, which I was so, so excited to do. And um, once I got in there, it was like a duck to water, really, and I'm so glad that I've done it. And Musically, there's a little bit of a different flavour for everybody, I find on there. There's a little bit of R&B, there's some big power ballads, there's some up-tempos, there's some heartfelt. So um, I've tried to cover every, every genre that I can. I decided to do the stripped back version of Don't Stop Moving purely because it was around the time of the 20th anniversary. Um, and I wanted to do an up-tempo S57 song as opposed to a ballad, because I think by doing probably one of our dances tracks, it just made it sound even more different than the original. And I think that's what's really important when you want to take a song and do an acoustic version is to make it sound completely different to the original. So I'm really glad with how it came out. 